Hey, so welcome back, the much wanted Doom editor in this episode. So coming up is going to be a quick overview of the Doom 3 editor, and we're going to look at some modding resources that are going to help us uh, through the first precarious baby steps through this uh, whole Doom 3 modding process. So let's start with our game. We're going to pop that open. Okay, and we're going to do a little bit of house cleaning. We're going to get into that console. I'm going to press Control Alt Delete, and this is PC. And first thing we're going to type in here is com. Whoops! Oh boy, 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 boy. We're getting off to a good start here. Com underscore, and we're going to go allow console space one hit enter. And what this is going to do is just for uh, this editing session, it's going to allow us to get at the console with just one keystroke, and that's the title. The bad news is that unfortunately it resets when we shut down, but when we start our editing session, we set that up, we can get our console much easier. Okay, so getting into the Doom Editor is an arduous, incredibly difficult process that takes years to master. And this is how we do it. We type an editor in the command line, we hit enter, and oh, look, we're here already. Not too tough after all, is it? This is the editor that ships free with the original game. And this is its gift to us as modders. This very powerful full, full functioning editor lets us uh, create some Doom maps. And this is the same uh, editor that some amazing games have been developed on. Doom 3, Doom 3 Re Resurrection of Evil, Doom 3 BFG Edition, Quake 4, Quake Wars, Wolfenstein 2009, and Brink 2011, all built on this editor. So uh, here it is in our hands, and uh, it's, it's whatever we can make of it. So we're just going to uh, we're going to pretend we stampede it to the editor and we're ready to go and we're going to put in a light here. So we put our light in and uh, we want to adjust uh, the size of it. So we hit our J key and for whatever reason we're not getting our light editor. Uh, in the Doom editor we can always look to our console here and I call it the console buddy because normally it clues us in into what we're doing wrong. And if we look down here we can see it's saying something about set R full screen zero and restart. Okay, so easy enough. And it uh, clues us into uh, one caveat about the editors that we have to run our game in window mode f to get all the functions and features out of the editor. So let's go ahead and do that. Real simple to do. We're going to open up uh, Doom 3 from the editor which is just F2. And in our command line, we're going to put, uh, let's see here, what are we going to put? We're going to go uh, R, R screen, R underscore full, sc full screen. And we're going to put one and enter. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to hit full screen and zero and enter. Okay, there we go. So let's get out of the game. And let's shut everything down. And let's go back into Doom 3 here real quick. We should be running in Windows mode. Okay, there we are. We can see the white strip on top. Let's go back into the editor. And just to prove it's working, we'll put a light in again. And we'll hit J for our lighting editor. And we've got it now, so we're up and running. Good. Okay, let's get a clean map here. Now, my tendency would be to, you know, show you guys all the functions and everything, but rather than doing that, I just want to slam together a quick box map just to basically show you the potential of it. And I think you'll get the gist of it, and I think it'll whet your appetite to explore this a little bit further. And subsequent videos from here will go into this uh, in much greater depth. I'm going to fly over it. Don't worry. We'll talk about this stuff in more detail, but let's slam in a room first. So a couple of best practices before we get started. What we want to do is go up to our grid and choose a fairly uh, coarse grid. So we're going to go grid 16. And we're going to make sure we're snapped to grid here, so that's set up. Now what I like to do is I like to start with the player, and we have to put in a player spawn. So what we want to do here is, uh, where are we here? It's been 10 years since I've been in this engine, guys, so bear with me here. Uh, info player start, right? Okay, there we go. Let's flip to side view, and there's our guy. We'll deselect him. Now we want to put in some brushes for our walls. The way I like to work is I like to select my texture first. So we're going to go into media here, we're going to go into textures here, textures here again. We're going to look for common and we're going to just select cock. And it's not what you think, it's the cocking that you put on your bathtub and windows. And I just like to work this way to get that texture uh, sorted out first. So we'll go to the top view and we're going to draw the brush. 
my favorite other second command uh, other favorite key is alt z for undo and we're just going to draw the brush here and we want to work with some friendly numbers to the texture sizes so why not make this 256 wide i want to go a little bit more than that 512 let's say it's a little bit much uh, we'll go 512 okay and then we want 1024 long so let's do that 1024 We'll explain why you want to hit these numbers a little bit later, but we're all looking good. We're on our grids. Let's slide this so it doesn't slice the guy off. There we are. Let's look at our render window. Okay, we got a nice floor. There we go. We can uh, select that brush. We can clone it. Let's slide it up there for our ceiling. Yeah, we can do that there. Looking good so far. Let's do a brush here for our end wall. Let's make sure it's the right size and everything. It is. And let's clone that, slide that on over here. Pay attention to the way I'm setting up. I mean, I'm trying to get best practices, the way these brushes connect and everything. Uh, we'll get into more detail, but, you know, we're working in a certain way. And just observe that carefully. So let's put on some end walls here. I'll try to zoom in a little bit just so you can see it a little bit better. So we'll put in some side walls. Come on, computer. That's good. I can either draw it out or just clone it. So we'll just clone it. Are we good? No, we're not good. We have to adjust the size of these things. There we are. Okay, we can see our mistake here. We'll go like so. Do, 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 do. There we go. That's that, that brush. This one we have to resize too. Okay, there we go. Oops, we have a sealed map like so. It's just occluding, but we can see that we have a sealed map. Okay, very important to seal the map. I'm not going to get into it right now, but very important. Okay, so the final thing is we want to slam some textures on these things. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to select one face, which is Shift, Control, Left Mouse button. We want to go down to our textures again and go into this base wall. Bear with me, there's a lot of junk textures in here. We want to find one that's not super obnoxious on the eyes. So there's one over here. Where are you? Stand by, here it comes. And where are you? There it is. Okay, good. And let's copy that texture. Um, so what I want to do is select that, hit that, hit that. Whoops. We want to hit that and this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's been a while. Okay, we want to do it like this. Okay, there we are. Yeah, it's going to be pretty obnoxious textures, but it'll do. Okay, and we can go like that, right? Oh, no, we have to select it. And then we just go like that. No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay, last thing we need is the light. Oh, it's been 10 years. Okay. We're getting it. I'm st starting to learn it again, and it'll go much more smoother. Okay, we have to make sure this light hits all the walls. So we're going to get our light editor out. <laughs> okay, we're going to change the radius of that light editor. Let's put, oh, I don't know, 500 there. Oh, that still won't get us there. Let's go 600. There we go. Not perfect, but it's quick. Okay, there we go. We got our light. It's way too big, guys. I'm not going to get into adjusting at all. Let's just make sure that we have light on all the walls and ceiling. We do. Okay, there we are. That's all we need to create our level. Let's move that light over up a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit more natural. <clears throat> all right, let's get out of here. And we want to save this. So we got all our components correct. We want to hit File, Save As. And let's name it something simple that we can remember. M1, hit uh, Enter. And we, for some reason, either Doom or Windows 10 doesn't like my file folder structure. Just give me an error, but it's not a big deal. It is actually there. Let's just check that it's there. Okay, file editor, we want to go to our D drive, uh, downloads, we want to go Steam Apps is what we're looking for, common, Doom 3, base, maps, okay, and we've got it there, so we know it's there. Okay, so we go back here, now we have to always compile our maps, so we're just going to go BSP, there it is. Our console tells us we don't have any errors, so now we're ready to run the game, uh, so F2... Let's open up the console. Okay, just bear with me here. I think it's maps, and then we just want to go M1. Okay, so it's map M1. It's odd because in the file folder structure, it's called maps, but 
we'll go map M1, and then we're ready to load the map we just built, hopefully, and there it is. So at this point, if you get this far, you've achieved your first rite of passage into Doom 3 model and level design, your first boss box map. We just slammed it together real quick, and I'm just hoping you can see the potential. This is where we start. We'll start to get a little bit more complex. We'll start to build it up over the next series of videos, so stay tuned. Okay, so I promised some Doom 3 modding resources. So let's have a look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out of the game. Exit or sorry just get out of here and back into the editor okay so we have a little bit of housekeeping to do first what we're going to do is we're going to go into the actual game file so mine is d downloads steam apps common doom 3 base okay now once we're in here our file folder structure is a little bit different than if you just buy the doom 3 game my version is the Doom 3 and Resurrection of Evil sort of Steam packaging of it, so these game files are a little bit different. But the one we're looking for is this one, Pack 0004K. Now, this is time for the big disclaimer. These are game files, guys. You don't want to move these. You don't want to delete these because you're going to break your game. And I'm not responsible, okay? I'm just showing you what to do. Now, if you run into trouble, I will do what I can. You know, drop a comment or shoot me off an email with your uh, with what your problem is if your game breaks I'll try to help but the good news is at the end of the day you can always just delete the game off your computer reinstall it off your Steam account and you're back to a default game and you're fresh and ready to go so just be careful so what we're gonna do with this pack file is we're gonna actually just select it and we're gonna copy it and you put it somewhere on your computer where you can remember it so what I'm gonna do is go here and I'm just gonna create a file folder so let's do that real quick folder we'll call it doom 3 packs and there so we'll open that and we'll paste that pack file in here okay there we go and there it is okay now this is why i love id a lot of pc games uh, the game files usually use some sort of proprietary file extensions to get at them you have to decompile it and you really have to be a coder with some advanced skills but this is this is again what id they've always been kind of open sourced and they did that in fact with doom 3 and they did release it as an open source and they give you the source uh, in some of these files uh, and so basically you know other independent studios have developed games on this engine but they've always been sort of open about everything and here's it here it is how simple it is to get at this map file if we just select that and we hit rename what we do is change that file extension okay come on rename and we change that file extension to zip like so and hit enter now okay gives a little warning or sure you want to change it yes because again this is just a copy so it doesn't really matter if we screw this up we just delete it and we can just redo this process so we'll just rename that so that is now called a pack zip now you should have winzip on your computer already uh, it does ship with windows 10 and we can just select that and let's unzip this so we're going to go extract all and that's going to just put it right here okay it'll just take a second well, it's going to take more than a second. I'll do a little dissolve here just to save us some time, but it's just it's a big file, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So I'll just cut it off here, and we'll get it once it's complete. Oh, okay, so the zipping process is done. We can get rid of this original zip file just to save some storage space. And now we can pop this open in our viewer, and we can actually see all the files in here okay and i won't describe them too much right now i won't talk about this a whole lot too much right now but in these maps folders we can see the game maps there they are there okay so that's our copy now what we want to do is because in our playthrough right now that we've published we're playing mars city we're going to take the mark city map and just be careful that it's the map not all these other files but mars city map we're going to copy this and we're going to stick it in our game and i'll show you where Okay, so we're going to go to our D drive, we're going to go into our original game folder, which for me is in downloads, Steam apps, common, Doom 3, base, maps, and we can see the map we already uh, saved, map 1, but we're going to stick that unzip file right here, so we're going to paste. Okay, so now we have it in here, we can get at it in the editor. But I like to shut down just in case anything goes wonky, so let's shut everything down, let's go back into Doom 3. 
okay into the editor editor now we're going to load that file okay mars city now as it's store as it's loading up here just takes a minute because it's a huge file huge disclaimer here again do not save this file do not compile it do not try to play it do not do any of that all we're going to do here is look at this map in this editor just so we can see how do uh, how id developed the maps and this is very educational it's going to look confusing the first time you see it but we can simplify it a little bit again we'll talk more about this but uh, okay where are we here unable to create phone no okay it's still loading okay it just takes a little while and i think that's it okay so we're in the do map and it looks confusing as hell especially the first time you see it I've seen it a million times. It's still confusing as hell. But the point is, we can go into some of these maps and we can look around. Uh, okay, there we are. Let's have a look. And we can really get a lot of clues in terms of how things are done and how they're built. Now, it's not as simple as, <laughs> as quite as I'm describing. But as you start to become familiar with this whole process and all these maps and everything, this is very educational. And this will, again, you'll get familiar with it and you'll find it's a great wealth of knowledge. So being able to load the Doom 3 maps into the editor and look around will help us a lot in our journey to learn this editor and how to mod Doom 3. So, okay, let's leave that for now. Let's shut down. A couple other resources. Yeah, we'll lose it, but that's okay. A couple other resources. Let's go on the internet here. And this link here, I'll put it in the comments, but this is a page that was published by id way back, and you can just see that it's still tiny size, probably 640 screen size here. Uh, and uh, website developers will understand what I'm talking about. However, notwithstanding the way it looks, everything you need is here, and they call it a software development kit, of course, SDK. And particularly, there's some really cool stuff in here. You can find information on the editor. Uh, for instance, here, editor keys, some of the hotkeys. Uh, it talks about the GUI editor, how to set that up. Some of it's fundamental, kind of basic. It doesn't give you all the answers, but it certainly helps a lot. Something really cool, too, is the CVARS is there's a lot of commands here that you can put into that command line. And it really helps when you're developing and debugging and all the rest of it. So you can play around in here. And again, I'll put the link there. There was another resource, and back in the day when we were all kind of learning the Doom 3 editor, uh, there were these forums, Doom 3 World, and it was just a fantastic place to learn about editing. And uh, I participated in these forums, I posted and read, I read a lot of the posts, and it was a kind of collective mind of a bunch of people who were modding and they were sharing their stories and how to solve issues and this, that, and the other thing. The only caveat here is, is that a lot of the links are dead, this is an archive, the forums are no longer um, um, active. But if you poke around this level editing uh, part right here, there are some tutorials and other things that uh, uh, that are helpful. And if you have some time, you can poke around here. A lot of the links don't work. A lot of it's dead. Of course, you can't post and everything. But again, you can look here for some uh, some some more guidance, some little bit of insight into this whole Doom 3 modding issue. So let's leave it there uh, for now. Again, I'd like to thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, we, I would really appreciate it if you could drop me a subscribe. Please, please, please. We're trying to grow the channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up or down. Put a comment in there. That would be great as well. And you can also hit the alert button, and that will give you notifications when we publish new videos. And I really do want to do a whole series on this editor to delve into it. I derive so much joy out of it and had so many hours of pleasure, and I think you will too. So I uh, really hope you can join us again. So thanks again for watching. Stay well, and uh, all the best.